The Seitman Cancer Center, in partnership with Washington University's Genomics and Pathology Services, known as GPS, is taking what was learned from decoding the human genome and translating it into life-changing outcomes for cancer patients. Building on the Human Genome Project, a massive effort involving laboratories across the globe and including Washington University's Genome Institute, the GPS team is using so-called next-generation sequencing to help doctors in making personalized medicine a reality for their cancer patients. But what does that mean, and how does it work? The human body is made up of more than 30 trillion cells, and each of those cells contains DNA, our genetic code. When cancer occurs, something in our cell's DNA has gone wrong, a genetic change. It takes more than just one genetic change to result in cancer, and these changes can be inherited, or more commonly, acquired after we are born. In fact, 85% of all cancers happen as a result of changes that occur over the course of our lives by exposure to things like cigarette smoke, certain toxic chemicals, or UV light from the sun. As we age, our cell's DNA gets more and more of these changes, which explains why it may take many years for a cancer to develop. Cancer occurs when certain combinations of these changes cause cells to lose their normal function. As a result, they grow and divide uncontrollably, and together they form what we call a tumor. Imagine if we knew how to read the DNA sequence of a tumor. We could then see where the genetic changes are, what they look like, and what they do. Having that kind of information would mean doctors could provide a precise, personalized management plan for patients with cancer, perhaps even targeting some of the genetic changes with specific drugs. Together with the GPS team, Seitman Cancer Center physicians are using revolutionary new ways to determine the genetic makeup of cancer cells more quickly and inexpensively than ever before. Next generation sequencing allows us to look at and analyze dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of cancer-related genes all at the same time. This so-called tumor profiling provides the unique genetic information for a specific cancer. We can see with incredibly high resolution the actual code of a tumor's DNA. And in many cases, we can identify specific changes that have played a role in the development of that tumor. Armed with that kind of information, we are literally changing the future for our cancer patients. They can be treated individually with drugs that specifically target their tumor cells based on its genetic code, not just based on where the tumor is in their body or where it may have arisen. This is a game changer for oncology. It's really very exciting. Tumor profiling by next-generation sequencing done at GPS is changing the way doctors manage their cancer patients. Results can help diagnose a tumor more specifically or give doctors clues about how aggressive a cancer will be. Sue is a great example of how results from tumor profiling may impact treatment and improve outcomes. She was diagnosed with stage 4 non-small cell lung cancer and benefited from chemotherapy for some time, but then developed worsening shortness of breath and cough due to spread of her cancer. I knew before I even had the CT that there was something wrong because I was coughing a lot and my shortness of breath had come back. So, you know, you could tell, you could tell that there was something. We performed targeted next generation sequencing of her tumor, which revealed a gene mutation for which she received treatment as part of a clinical trial. It just so happened that there was a study being done at Siteman for that exact mutation. So I volunteered to be in that study, and it has been very successful for me. The metastasized tumors disappeared right away, and then after that, the original tumor actually shrank, and, and so I'm having what's called a complete response. The advent of molecularly targeted therapy has helped us to move one step closer towards realizing our dream of personalized therapy for patients with cancer. For patients in whom we find a targetable molecular alteration, this can mean significant improvement in their quality of life as well as their outcome and survival. I can live my life in, in just a very normal way. My husband and I walk, I garden, I take care of my grandson from time to time. All of the normal things that anyone would do. I feel like I have been very fortunate. 
We no longer think of cancer as a single disease anymore, and we don't even think about treating patients with a given tumor type using the same therapy. Rather, we are individually sequencing and reading the tumor DNA to reveal not only what type of cancer it might be, but how it is likely to behave and how it is best treated. We look toward a future where even the most aggressive cancers become a well-managed chronic disease. And the good news is that future is already underway. For more information on tumor profiling by Next Generation Sequencing, visit our website.